Is the AT launcher for modded Minecraft the best modded Minecraft launcher there is? Today we are going to find out. My name is Watch Arna. If you have not already, please click that subscribe button below. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers as quickly as possible. I do everything modded Minecraft, so hopefully there's some more content here that you may like. So you're going to want to go to atlauncher.com forward slash downloads, which is going to bring you to this page here where you can download for Windows, OS X and Linux and, well, other once you've downloaded that, install it like you would any other program using the setup. Then this is the app here once you have installed it. Now, you can see down here on the left-hand side, it says Hide Console. I'm in the way. Uh, hide Console. Now, this is actually going to open up the console here as well. And you can either hide or show that if you want. You can also open the folder here for where it's here for where the actual launcher is installed. Now. This is going to bring you onto the news page. So you can see the top of the news here is the whole malware incident at Cars Forge, which happened in the last few days. If you were actually in my Discord, we were one of the first people to report on this and make sure that you guys were all safe. So make sure you click that link down below because we actually also host 12 modded servers that you can join, including things like RLCraft, all the mods, Vault Hunters, blah, 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 all public for you guys to join. And we also help you with any modded issue, whether it's Java, the Minecraft launcher, you're running your own server or community, anything like that. We help with absolutely everything and I love doing it. So make sure you join our amazing uh, community. Um, but anyway, back to the tutorial. On the right hand side, you're going to see the options of news, vanilla packs, packs, instances, servers, accounts, tools, and settings. So, news is obviously news. Vanilla packs is where you can add a new instance, name it what you want, description, and it's going to be vanilla only with no mods. So, if you're looking to add your own mods, you know, pick what you put on there, or just have a pure vanilla experience, you can do it here. You can see here you can filter by releases, experiment versions, snapshots, betas, and alphas and the modded Minecraft, uh, sorry, the, the Minecraft release version here, including the new 1.2. And you can also click the loader version here. So if we go down to 1.19.2 under Forge, you can click the Forge loader version uh, that you want here. And you can choose Fabric or Legacy, Fabric and Quilt as well. And then you can create either a server or an instance. Before you actually do any of this, you're actually going to want to go to accounts on the right hand side here and add your account by either logging in with Minecraft or your Mojang login here. And at the bottom here, that's going to then show you the account that you have logged in with. So next, we're going to go to packs. Now, there is like about 150 packs that AT Launcher has itself. Some of these packs, like RLCraft, are already um, on other launchers, but there is 150 or so that they actually have um, on here. And there's probably ones that you can't find anywhere else. So, you know, it's always nice to see new, interesting and individual packs. However, if you are looking for a really popular one, on the left hand side here, you can choose between just searching the AT launcher, Cursed Forge, and at the top you can see all versions, categories, popularity, just like if you're searching on the Cursed Forge launcher itself, and Modrinth and Technics. There's a really good variety of mod packs that you can choose on the AT launcher. And you just click new instance if you want to install one of these. You then, once you've installed one, it will appear in instances here. Now you can see here I have installed RLCraft and we can see the name and the version of it here. You can also go up to the top left and import one. And what we can do here is play it, delete it, export it. We can click add mods and this will show us here uh, all mods that we can add to this pack. And you can see on this drop down, we're looking under Curse Forge's library. You can also check the Mod Rinth library for mods as well. So if you don't know, Curse Forge has its own library of mods, so does Mod Rinth. You can then search by, you know, uh, resource packs or worlds, popularity, etc., and search and go different pages here. You can also edit the instance by reinstalling it, cloning it, and renaming it change the description or the image and even if you really wanted to change the forge version it's installed under and you can back up straight here now you don't see this on many mod packs at launcher is really good for this actually doing backups with a click of your fingers like this you can also click settings and this is going to be for this instance only not for any of your other instances installed here but just for this instance now general do you want to use um, a different account? Say if you've got multiple account logs in, do you want to use a specific account to log in um, to this instance or do you want to use your default? And do you want to use Discord integration? So it will say, you know, in Discord, this person is playing RLCraft. 
and then you can say Java and Minecraft, the memory allocation, um, permagen size, the Java path, and Java um, arguments. If you want help choosing your Java arguments and optimizing your game, especially if you're on a bit of a potato PC, again, click that Discord link below because I will help you with any issues you have with any of this. Um, you can choose, of course, your, your runtime override, and do you want to use the standard Java using uh, provided by Minecraft? Generally, it's going to be a yes, etc. on these options. And then you have any custom startup commands, which I'm not going to go through. Um, but again, join the Discord if you want to have any help with that. Most people aren't going to be needing any of this. And then we can just save or cancel. You can also edit the mods already installed. So I can click these here or click all of them up here. Uh, I can click these and say disable the selected ones. You can also check for updates on the ones you select, reinstall them, enable them, disable them, remove them or refresh the metadata. And again, I can just click these over here and say, actually, I'd like to re-enable these mods, please. So you can also open the website for this mod pack or open the folder. And the folder here is going to take you to where the actual mod pack is installed. If you want to install mods manually, you can just click in the mods folder and drag your jar files from any other mods that you've installed or downloaded from anywhere on the internet, etc., straight into this folder. And that is everything you need to know for individual instances. Then you can also add any servers here. These will show up from... Uh, the servers that you have installed on your instances. Again, accounts we've already looked at. Now, tools is a really useful tools like network checker, log cleaner. This has all descriptions on all of these. If you want to use them, like updating your skin, you can do it within here. If you want to do a download clearer, the, um, it clears out all downloads done by the launcher. It won't affect any instances, but does mean that new pack installs may take longer as you need to re-download mods, etc. Because it's going to download mods in the background to put into the launcher itself. All really cool um, tools just like that. And then settings. Now, this is where we've already looked at instances. We've looked at uh, specific settings for the mod pack you are looking at. This is going to be settings for the entire launcher itself. And these are your default settings. So you can say, what language do you want? Do you want to use the theme? And it's really nice because the AT launcher actually does dark theme by default. Thank goodness. Um, the date format the instance tile format, the default tab. So when you launch the pack, which tab do you want to automatically go into? For most of us, it's probably actually not going to be the news. It's actually probably going to be instances. Do you want to sort it by name or by last played, etc.? The downloads folder. And do you want to keep the launcher open when you're playing? Do you want to enable the console? Do you want to have an icon in the tray menu of Windows? Do you want to uh, enable Discord integration, etc., etc.? If we go into mods, it's saying that when you're adding individual mods, do you want to have the default mod platform be CurseForge or ModRynth? Do you want to add mod restrictions at all, like only showing mods for current Minecraft versions, which would be helpful, or only showing mods for the current major Minecraft version? So if you want to show it for 1.16.1234567 etc. Um, or if you want to show mods for all Minecraft versions, do you um don't check mods on curseforge don't check mods on modrimp so if you only want to download mods from one library you can do that if you don't trust curseforge or you don't trust modrimp etc and do you want to enable the mods that you add to your instances by default generally you're probably going to undo that then we can get a java and minecraft so your maximum memory and ram i would always advise putting this to eight gigabytes however if you're on a potato pc if you only have eight gigabytes you can get away with six maybe even four gig depending on what mod pack you're playing but i would always advise generally um speaking that you would add eight gig to each instance permagen size the window size the default window size your java path and that's gonna be straight to the actual java bin itself and again your java arguments and in here it's actually going to add these java arguments to all of your instances by default so do be careful depending if you're using java 8 and java 17 etc if you don't know what that means just leave it it's probably fine how it is just change your maximum memory ram at the top your java install location do you want to start minecraft maximize do you want to ignore java checks on launch do you want to use the java provided by minecraft generally that's going to be a thumbs up do you want to disable legacy launching etc that's all in here then you've got your network do you want to use a proxy etc generally you're not probably going to touch that unless you know what you're doing logging do you want to um, forge logging level, info, severe, warning, fine, etc.? Do you want to enable logging, yes or no, and disable those analytics? Then you've got your backups. So when you back up, 
do you want to back up the saves, configs, and options only? Or do you want to back up the saves, mods, configs, and options only? Or back up absolutely everything? So basically what we're saying here is when you do a backup, do you just want to save your world? Or do you want to save all of the mods and everything, etc.? Because generally if your world gets corrupted, the rest of it doesn't matter. You can just reinstall the pack and shove your world or your save back into your new pack when you reinstall it and it's not going to be an issue if you want to save space on your computer that is going to be the best option if you want to be lazy and you don't really care about space etc then you may just want to back up the absolute entire thing which is quicker to get back in if you need to restore a backup and then you've got commands here and these are going to be very in-depth commands of java arguments etc um, that again, if you only know what you're doing, you should be touching. This tutorial is for general users. Um, I feel like if you're going to be using these, you probably wouldn't need this tutorial. I may be wrong. Again, please do join the Discord if you need any more advanced help. Um, and that is it for the AT Launcher tutorial. I really hope this tutorial was helpful let me know in the comments below do you think this is the best launcher what is your favorite launcher and again if you haven't already please do join our discord there's 2000 of us now all playing modded minecraft together we have 12 fully public servers that you can join and we will help you with absolutely any issue at all and we also play some other games too and there's always people hanging out in voice chats etc it's honestly like an amazing community um i would really recommend joining if you haven't but i do hope you enjoyed this tutorial again please don't forget to subscribe it really helps me out thanks for watching and i will see you next week